What do you call that? It almost sounds like a joke, right? But what brings us together is the desire to make it happen. And I think uh, I just wanted very quickly to start and acknowledge not everyone here because I am sure to be about so many important people. And uh, Secretary Pascual loves me not because I'm great with protocols, but because, number one, I started this journey with him, pre-pandemic. Um, all I wanted to be was by osmosis to be near the legendary president of UP. And at that time, he taught me the one important thing about technology. It's the G word. No, it's not gaming, it's not gigsters, it's governance. And um, he was at that time the president of ICD, and I was this young, brash thing. And now I'm just old and brash. And um, at that time, he said the most important thing about what you do in an era of AI is actually to make sure what you do can stand the sunlight test. So palakpakan po natin siya because he had actually started that journey of digital Filipinas. Now, like I said to Ambassador Pan um, of Cambodia, this is not the story just in the Philippines, but this is the story of 10 countries in Southeast Asia who refuses to be ignored. So I was in Kigali in Rwanda last June together with the Monetary Authority of Singapore. And Ambassador, I'm very vocal about all the contributions that Singapore has done for digital Philippines. Um, thank you to Singapore for continuing to tolerate me. All this. And in Kigali, we signed a partnership agreement with the Africa FinTech Network, 35 countries. And you know what both of us said? Between our 600 million people and the 1.4 billion people of Africa, we will no longer be ignored together. So between Kigali, Africa, and the Philippines, Manila, we said we're going to bring these two regions together via digital economies. Now, when I was working with Yusek Carol, she's here somewhere because she's really incredible. Palakpakan po natin si Yusek Carol because you have no idea. The reason why Secretary Pascal is able to do more half of what he does is because of the incredible team of DTI. More importantly, our family from the Board of Investments. I know that Yusek Perry is forthcoming or he's probably working somewhere, working towards the goals of the president, which is now what, sir, for investments. What was the quote given to all of us? No, oh, okay, guys, uh, Chatham rules, you can't quote any figures, but our objective is to direct a lot of the incredible attention on technology investments to our region. And the only way we can do it is through everyone's help. Speaking of this journey, I would also like to acknowledge my brother, my new brother in this journey, Mr. Rahul Chatterjee of the VFS. I know he is here somewhere. Maraming kong salamat, Rahul. When I was blabbing about the idea of how do we get the word out about the country, Aside from the support of the diplomatic corps, I don't know if you know, but VFS is not just who's processing your visa, but it's also our touch point to the world. So thank you, Rahul, for being our mouthpiece. How many countries do we have? We're replaced close to 100. So aside from just our communications in DDI, our communications in the future for DOT, they will become our free mouthpiece to the world. Maraming maraming salam. Now, I'd also like to acknowledge someone who could not be here because she's on medical leave. And this is our permanent ambassador to ASEAN. Ambassador Joy Quintana. So, when we first met, 
we were single-minded. She's a woman on a mission. Don't give her more coffee. She's incredible. She taught me one afternoon when I was in Jakarta because of the UK NSCN Tech Week. Ambassador Lori, I will share a little bit on that. Basically, she said, Amor, did you know that we have a national space agency? So, raise your hand if you know that the Philippines has a national space agency. Okay, the geeks here. The geeks in the room are here. They also just happen to be ambassadors at the same time. Now, it's not about, it's not about the upstream and it's not about sending someone to Mars. It's about the downstream. And it's about making sure that we get the right addresses. We, that will translate to more jobs, to more e-commerce, and to more growth for the country. She could not be here today, but you know what she has done for this movement is she has actually invited, and I had met the ASEAN Secretary General, who has formally endorsed the Philippine FinTech Festival, the Digital Filipinas Movement, as a formal ASEAN program. Palakpakan po natin si Ambassador Joe. Aside from being an investment hub, did you know that the Philippines is also the chair for science and technology in ASEAN? And from October 18 to 19, we will be hosting the Costi of ASEAN. And this is where the ASEAN Secretary General has actually said, a more pilot in the festival, the ASEAN Startup Village. And I said, no, I don't want to call it a startup village. We're going to call it a kampung when we bring it to Malaysia. Or go and Singapore. Are there still kampongs in Singapore? Just one. <laughs> Just one kampo. We are going to call it a village. We are going to bring it across the sea and right there starting in the Philippines. And it was because I remember Ambassador Lori of the United Kingdom and also at the same time His Majesty's first ever trade minister to the Asia Pacific, who has just vacated her post, Natalie Black, gave us a challenge in DPI. How many unicorns do you have, right? How many unicorns do you have? We simply do not have enough unicorn to compare to that of the UK, the US, and China combined. And that should be our collective effort which is to really raise unicorns. So we are honored today to be with many startups and pre-unicorns like George Rieta. So he's no longer the angry boy of a startup. He's now working towards unicorn chip. And thank you to our partners in the UK for having given us this insight. Far too many ambassadors here to be recognized. But this fight for Southeast Asia that started, the fire started here, because I'd like to acknowledge three countries without prejudice to all the incredible guests who are here. First is Ambassador Tita. Ambassador Tita there of Hungary, thank you so much. Who knew about the Philippines and at that time, who knew about Budapest being a digital gateway? This year we're celebrating our 50th, our 50th year of our diplomatic relations. We look much younger than the 50 that we are. No, we are actually 200 years old, but being Asian, we look much younger. Thank you so much for getting this journey started. And together with DTI, through our Joint Economic Commission and also with the DOST, we will bring this partnership further. Thank you. Two better partners in Hungary could not be with us. Then, of course, I'll tell you the reason why all of our programs and events are in non-hotels. We are called the Unconference. 
We don't like hotels, we don't like formal venues, and I'll tell you, it is the fault of one country, and that is Israel. Ambassador Elam. Who calls me? No, it's not about my chutzpah, right? So apparently that's what we need to have as startups, right? Chutzpah. But he endearingly calls me Balagan. Is that what it is? Yes. So just research that. The connection between, no, 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 I can't. I'm, I'm around polite company. So the connection between our two regions for innovation is actually incredible. And I thank Ambassador for supporting uh, what we're launching today, which is our um, champions of Philippine investments. Maraming maraming salam. Then, of course, I found myself unwittingly bringing the Board of Investments to Zug. So I've been talking about Zug since 2018. And I would like to acknowledge our partnership with the government of Switzerland. So we signed a partnership with the Switzerland Global Enterprise, our, our dear friend and brother Kent, who interestingly enough I met in Zurich and turns out was based here. Switzerland, together with the Philippines, is developing a course